Howdy, everybody. This is the Wyoming Stone Ranger. It is Independence Day 2024. No work today, so it's a great time to head out into the Wyoming, the Woolies, the wilderness, and see what kind of rocks we can find. So the other day, I went over to this guy's house who was selling some rocks, and I bought some pretty cool stuff from him. I even bought a piece of jade from him. And this guy was telling me about a spot that he loved to go rock hunting. He told me where one of his honey holes were. He even made me a map. This is a treasure map. Arr, oh my goodness, it's a treasure map. Gonna find some treasure in this place. Which reminds me of a joke. Do you know what a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet is? You may think it's the R, but it's the C. <laughs> okay, don't shoot me. Don't judge me for that one. But it's a funny little joke. Anyway, we're going to head out, see what we can find out here. Take a look around me. There's a lot of landscape right here. There's a, a creek bed, a wash going through. Looks like there's some quartz on the ground. We're going to see what we can find out here in wonderful Wyoming. I love rock hunting in Wyoming. And here we go. Let's go. We're going together. Wahoo! Right off the bat, I found a little buddy. I don't know if you can see him there. That's a prairie rattler. He's all coiled up, ready to strike. They can only strike about half the distance of their body. That little rattle going, you can see it's just a buzzing away right there. That is the warning sign to stay away. And you know what? I'm gonna stay away. I'm gonna leave him alone. Cause this is his territory, not mine. Okay, buddy. We're gonna leave you alone. You go your way, and I'll go my way. Well. I'm not five minutes out of the truck and ran into that little guy. You have a good day, buddy. We'll see you later. Well, I got to admit, after hearing that primal sound of the rattler, I got the creeps a little bit. But let's go rock hunting. I'm just going to take it slow and keep my eyes and my ears open and check out the smoky quartz right here. I got a new walking stick too, new poker. Kind of sparkly. Pretty cool rock, but I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's keep looking. We're gonna follow along this creek bed and head right over that way. See what we can find on the hilltops and going down the sides of these draws. Well, there's something that's got some red color to it. See what that looks like. Well, it's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, basically just some red colored sandstone. I'm gonna leave that right there, but you can see all the quartz in the in the ground right here. That's usually a good sign that we're gonna find something else too. 
It's a nice piece of smoky. What do you think? Would you guys put that in your bucket? If I didn't have so much of it already, I would. But you gotta be picky sometimes. Let's keep going. Coyote howling on the other side of the valley. Can't see him, but I can sure hear him. They usually make that noise at night, in the evening. What do you think of that one? It's interesting. Almost would like to cut it open, but it doesn't feel like it's hollow. It's pretty heavy. So I think we'll let it rest right back where it was. That coyote's still howling over there. He's upset about something. There's a little pocket rock. Kind of neat little guy. I think I might have just found my first keeper. Right there. See right in the center of the picture. That gray rock. Pretty agony. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one, wash it up and see what it looks like. Now, let's see what that is. Get my shadow out of the way. Huh. That is a really cool piece of banded iron. Check out the color in it. Lots of structure in it, too. Wasn't expecting to find that out here. That one's going in the pocket. In the pocket, because the bucket's back at the truck. It's a good thing I got a lot of pockets. Like a piece of chert with some banding in it. Not too bad. But not good enough to put in my bucket. Some interesting rock there. What do you think, you guys? Is that a keeper? You decide. Would you put it in your bucket? Well, uh, not today.
Pretty rock. Yeah. Got some translucency going on there for sure. That's a beauty. I do believe it's going in the pocket. Well, there's something green and broken in layers, I think. Yeah, that's a venturine. All broken up into little layers right there. I wish it was jade. That'd be cool to find some jade. I moved from the hills down into this wash to see if I could find anything down here amongst the sediment that's been left behind by torrential rains and floods. There are times where this wash right here it's just flash flooding like you couldn't believe. But today, it's totally dry. So look on these banks and see if we can find anything down here. There's a rock right there, it's interesting. Let's look at that. Well, that's definitely a lever right there. Here we go, right down that bank. Here's a little chunk that washed in here. Looks like it's uh, some petrified wood. Wonder how far that little gem traveled. Let's see what that white rock is over there. This is something else my new stick is super handy for. Pulling things out that you can't quite reach. You know what I think that is? Yeah, I believe that is a piece of waterline agate that has uh, a white rind on the outside of it. If you just make through, you can see some of those lines of the waterline. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. It'll fit in there pretty thin, nice big piece. I think it'll tumble out well. Well, there's another nice piece sticking out here at the riverbed. Not sure if you can see the sparkles. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Too big for the pocket, so I think I'm going to have to carry it. That's okay. We're not too terribly far from the truck. Check this rock out. Almost looks like a little banding there, possibly. Huh. Pretty cool. I think there's some agate going on in there as well. What do you think? You guys decide on this one. And while you're deciding, I'll stick it in my pocket just in case. Yeah, it looks like a nice piece of Jasper right there. Good old mustard Jasper. I think I'm gonna start hunting my way back to the truck. Which I don't know if you can see that shiny spot over there just to the left of the pointy hill. That's old silver. Well, here's two interesting rocks sitting right side by side we'll take a look at. First one. Wow. 
that's a conglomerate for sure. A rock eater. A rock that eats other rocks. Kind of cool. And then right next to it, poking out. There's an agate. Looks like it's got some dendrites in there, too. Not too shabby. Well, we made it back to the ranch house. Just picked up a few rocks to bring home today. Not too much, but had a great day out there. Actually was able to record. The wind wasn't blowing, and so I don't have to do voiceovers. That's pretty cool. Hey, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the videos. We're going to be doing a lot more rock hunting. So you take a closer look at the things that we found today. Some prairie agates. That piece of banded iron right there. And then some more agate. That conglomeration, the rock eater. Rocks that eat other rocks. And there's probably the nicest piece of the day right there. Some agate going on, some banding in there, pretty translucent. So it was a great day out there in the Wyoming wilderness. Happy Independence Day, America. I'm the Wyoming Stone Ranger. Thanks for coming along on this trip with me today. And we'll get out back into the wild woolies of Wyoming real soon. Happy trails to you. Just around the corner in the middle of the road. I just ran across this little guy. I heard his warning first. He's like, stay away. That's a prairie rattler right there. He's not too happy with me being in his country. That's for sure. I think I'll just leave him alone. Cause I'm actually in his neighborhood. He's not in mine. Happy 4th of July Independence Day, little buddy. We'll catch you later. Have a good day.